What's going on? Come back. We're either going to blow ourselves up or we're going to light this stove. I guess for YouTube sakes, I guess the blowing up thing would probably get me. Uh... We'll be back. What's going on everybody? This is Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video is finding you well. Um, on the other channel, though, MTO Productions, I've kind of been into the older camera stuff. So why not do some older camping stuff? I've got this old Coleman. It's a 425E. Um, somebody's Somebody suggested on the interwebs that you could look around and date was stamped on them, but I don't know. I think the 425E came out somewhere in the um, um, heavens 70s maybe. Um, this particular one, I know we had it, mom and dad bought it a long time ago. I've used it several times camping. Um, I have burned the white gas in it, and that's what we will be doing is putting this stuff in it. This does say Crown, but it's just a brand of white gas. Um, it is not alcohol, because I wouldn't be dumping it in this thing unless my life depended on it. Anyway, we got some uh, Coleman fuel slash white gas. Um, Got the tank. I've got a funnel that somewhat works, so we'll guarantee to dump most of the fuel on the ground. Um, anyway, I'm going to attempt to fire this thing up, but before I do, we're going to move outside the garage. We're not going to do it inside the garage. I'm going to move it pretty close to the truck. That way I set it on fire and possibly chase this 60 something thousand dollar truck and the wife's car and the CRV. May I take out the whole house? Who knows? I'm going to try to be as careful as I can. Um, but anyway, we're going to hope this thing fires up. Because I know one of the biggest downfalls when these sit very long is the seals and everything get to where they won't hold pressure. Um, it's hard to test pressure on these things without something in them. Why the heck not? Let's just go ahead and dump fuel in it and see what happens. Um, now, the last time I really cooked on this stove, before I changed stoves, is I was cooking with propane with one of these dad dudes. Uh, this one, I'm not even sure what brand or flavor it is. It's got a W or something on it, M maybe. There it is right there, if it'll quit focusing on me. But anyway, it uh, allows you to burn, 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 burn propane in it. Now, these stoves came about in the early 50s, I think it was. You can go, matter of fact, I'll leave a link down below to this feller's website. I'm going to turn around for a second. Oh, look, she locked me out again. Um, anyway, this Terry Mash Marsh. Dot com, Coleman U.S. Stoves, early 50s to present. So this guy has got a website devoted to it. You can kind of see it. Um, from the mid 50s to present. So your first one, he says the early model 425B, 1954. Huh. So there you go. And of course he tells how to tell what's what on these things so you know what year you got. Uh, we're going to go with the early one, early uh, 70s, maybe 80s. I'm going to say we got this thing in the 80s. Um, it's been cooked on quite a bit, actually. I've cooked on, cooked on it with white fuel and propane, both. I have never tried kerosene in one, and I damn sure have never tried gasoline in one. I have heard horror stories where people have put gasoline in these things and tried to cook on them. Biggest thing is, is they taught us how to use them in scouts when I was a kid and try to keep from burning ourselves alive. Because, you know, it might be kind of melodramatic or very dramatic to some of the other kids. I don't know. 
But anyway, um, I got to fill this thing up first and then we're going to set something up right outside the garage door here and light it up. Now, I know they, they will not I'm not going to throw a four foot flame out of this thing. Um, everything seems to be in good working order on this. Last time I used it was probably three, four years ago under propane power. Now, I want to talk about some things once I get it set up out there and we'll go over some other stuff. All right, I'm going to go out here away from everything and add the fuel to the tank. Hopefully y'all can still hear me. Right here ought to be good. Should be far enough away. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, it's one of those child safety locks. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. I, I got these things where you can't get the tops off of them no more. <sighs> Back in a second. Okay. I probably have way not enough fuel in this thing to make it light off like it should. Hopefully I don't burn the house down. Wife would be so mad at me. She hangs in there like she's supposed to. Now the key to these things is you build up the pressure by turning this knob here and you place your thumb over it and just start pumping and I hope the seals aren't fully dried out on this pump too um, I need, now hopefully we don't have any excitement like Richard Pryor on a Friday night and I set myself on fire we will see here in a second. Can't tell if it's building pressure though. I hope it is. One way to find out. Yeah, I'm not hearing anything. I know you have to turn that up. What kind of critter was that? Let me try this again. I hope I got enough fuel in it. I got enough fuel over yonder on the ground. I don't know if I got enough in the tank. Oh, wait a minute. I think I felt pressure that time. What happens is, is these seals inside get dried out after a while. Oh, I hear something. I can't, I can smell it too. Hang on. Let me get a little more pressure in it. I may not have enough fuel in it. Turn this off. Make sure this one's off too. I think it is. Now it says right here on the tank, this lever has to be up. It says ah, uh, lever must be turned up to light. After one minute of one after one minute, turn down to burn. So I'm not recording yet. Y'all still there? Watching the epic failings of a Eagle Scout. Like I said, the seals may be dried too far out on this thing for it to do.
thought I heard. Yep. Let me turn you off for a second. All right, so I've been pumping quite a bit. I'm thinking the valve here, the gaskets and everything are bad. Um, I looked at Walmart yesterday when I got the fuel. Was hoping they had some, had their rebuild kit. They don't. I can get it off of Amazon. And what it entails is you replace this whole thing that's inside here, stick and all. Uh, they just dry out, wear out. It feels like it's trying to build pressure, but it's not. I, I, I looked it up on the interwebs and it says you have to pump it a lot. Well, I've pumped it a lot and I'm not feeling it. It feels like one minute it has pressure and the next minute it doesn't. I know you're probably saying, well, that cap's loose. Well, that's the way they are. Let's try one more time on camera. And if it don't go off now, I'm going to call it for the day. Yep, because it's, that's not building pressure. And there's enough gas in the thing. It should light up. So, I am going to get on the interwebs of the jungle site, order a rebuild kit for this. Like I said, it'll just entail this right here. I'm sure if I was to pull this apart, the plunger's probably, all the rubber ceiling and everything that's on it, probably done. Just for craps and giggles and make the video go good. But they've been, they've had these things out since the 1950s and they still, you can still purchase them today. Um, and people collect them. There was all kinds of different forms. There was, there was a three burner. We had a couple of those when I was in the Scouts. Um, then they had the traditional two burner like this one. Gold tank, red tank, green, black. You pick a color, just about had it. Different years and so forth and so on. See, it feels like every other pump, it's building pressure, but I know it's not. And of course, we got hurricane force winds today. Yeah, she's not lighting. I thought it lit just then. No. It's, it just doesn't have it. So, there's going to be a part two of this video. We're going to get this thing working. We'll order a new pump because I guarantee that's what's wrong with this one now. Hang on, let me put you where I can see you. Wrong lever, Johnny. Who's Johnny? Anyway, um, I'm going to order a new pump for this thing off the jungle site and we'll put it in it and we'll come back and we'll fire this thing up in another video. Um, I might very well use this thing at one point camping this year just for the nostalgia of it. Uh, fits on the, it does fit on the table that I use all the time really well. So, eh, it's just one more thing I gotta carry with me is to swap out stoves and got a little extra work to get it going. But what I do like is the windscreens on the side here. Let me put you back down. Cause what I do like is the windscreens on the sides here um, when you're cooking, I've had it where you've had to set up and the wind's coming in this way. It didn't freaking matter. But uh, you just got an extra kid to stand around while you're cooking. But uh, we'll get it fired up in another video. But uh, I drug it out. I knew a reason why I hadn't done this yet is I couldn't find the tank. And I found the tank the other day. So I will put the tank back with it and put the propane uh, burner thing with it too. Um, I have to laugh. I was doing something and the tank fell out and I, I had a heart attack. I'm going to see something here real quick. The tank's not leaking. This seal's not bad on the fuel. And it's not leaking over here, but I bet if I pop that out, that that's what's bad is the pump itself. So we'll get a new pump. We'll get her going. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, we'll get it working. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one. Be prepared.